Hello everybody, hope you guys are enjoying your Tuesday evening. Today we're going to be talking about a big storm uh, in the form of wintry precipitation or just some rainfall for some areas uh, that could be impacting parts of the western coast and then it'll kind of go up into the northern plains and then come back down into the northeastern United States and potentially bring the next shot of snowfall for the I-95 corridor, uh, and that will be a big talking point uh, coming into this weekend. You'll have this big band of snowfall kind of setting up from northern Minnesota and, and into the northern Great Lakes, and then it'll kind of strap back down into the coastal northeast. So we'll have to definitely keep an eye on that, and that's going to be our main talking point. All these advisories in the west that you see currently posted on your screen, that's all from this uh, winter storm potentially winter storm ezekiel uh, that would be the next name on the list so if this storm does get big enough then it will be called winter storm ezekiel uh, all these are wind alerts by the way uh, all these in the brown and gold colors these are all wind alerts so some potentially gusty winds some in excess of 60 miles per hour over over these areas and then winter weather alerts over uh, in the pinks, purples, blues, uh, over parts of the Northern Plains, and then over parts of the Western United States. Now, we're going to get into it right here, uh, well, right now, with this, uh, with the current Storm Prediction Center, because uh, we do actually have a uh, enhanced risk of severe weather in early November, or uh, late November, uh, definitely something you don't see too often. You don't see enhanced risks uh, just thrown around there, even in the middle of the summer, so uh, for it to be happening in November, up uh, very big deal uh, because we have a slight and enhanced risk. This is all due to that uh, storm that's going to be bringing some snowfall to these areas in the northern plains. Uh, and on the southern side, you have some severe weather. You have all that gulf moisture. You have some instability. You have shear uh, or some uh, converging winds uh, coming out of different directions creates instability uh, and you have winds coming out of the west winds coming out of the south so that's going to create some of your shear uh, and the prime spot in this orange is going to be over Arkansas M Mississippi Tennessee Kentucky and uh, so southeastern Missouri now we're going to look at the current satellite imagery I just want to show you th this because it does look pretty cool on satellite imagery uh, this is your storm that we're talking about and you can really see how it's taking its shape. Uh, it's a very powerful system. Uh, it's a comma I system. It shows more development in the system. So it's a very big system, and it's going to be crashing into the western U.S., bring some Sierra Mountain snow and into the Rocky Mountains some snow, and then you're going to be seeing some snowfall uh, or some rainfall in those lower elevations. Now, here's the current National Weather Service's uh, kind of uh, forecast. Uh, for, we're going to kind of look at what they're showing as far as the western U.S. It only goes out until Friday, so this would be uh, your Black Friday, uh, your shopping day. And you see uh, in those blues about a coating of an inch to about 8 inches, 8 to about 14 or so inches in those purples and whites, 14 to about 24 inches in those pinks, 24 to 28 inches in those reds, and then 28 to 32 plus inches in those yellows and oranges. So you see over the Sierra Nevada, generally widespread over 30 inches of, of snowfall, a uh, few areas seeing over 3 feet of snowfall, uh, and then mainly for these higher elevations and interior areas, Seattle, Portland most likely won't get any of this snowfall, uh, potentially some for Portland but most of it is going to be in the higher elevations to your west and east and then uh, a couple of big cities salt lake city uh, uh boise idaho uh to your north uh salt lake city actually has the better chance here we're seeing about four to six inches of snowfall uh boise uh right around in here seeing about uh to your uh, seeing about a coating to your east, you, though you could be seeing about three feet of snowfall. Uh, so very big deal over to these areas, uh, seeing some snowfall and potentially some fairly big snowfall. Now, here's the GFS, and uh, we're going to be looking at its simulated radar. So it's forecasted radar, uh, what it thinks it's going to look like on your satellite image or on your radar. So we're going to be focusing on this system. This is your system that could be Winter Storm Ezekiel. Uh, this one. Uh, currently already named taking up that letter D slot um, and this is going to continue to move in uh, it crashes into Oregon's coast by about Wednesday morning uh, 
yeah, right around when you're waking up for Wednesday. Uh, and so over parts of northern Nevada, the Sierra Mountains, uh, Oregon, Idaho, seeing some snowfall by this point, and then it kind of dissipates. It can, it dr gets driven up by uh, this converging moisture, some moisture coming out of the Pacific, some also coming out of the Gulf, uh, indicated by these lines, by the way. So these lines on the screen kind of show you where all your energy is being transferred uh, from. So you're seeing these height lines showing that this is coming out of the parts of the Pacific and also coming out of the parts of the Gulf. So you have a lot of moisture to work with in this southern system, potentially bringing some snowfall to New Mexico, Albuquerque involved in this, and as you continue this, kind of dissipates, uh, and then it transfers over to parts of the northern U.S. It kind of moves back south again so this is the same system still the same system and you're seeing it transferred back over here so this would be for for your friday uh midnight around that time frame and that it explosive it, it, go, it moves very explosively into the uh, northern u.s by saturday morning a very strong system and you're gonna see this band uh kind of set up so uh we can move over to the eastern u.s here uh kind of show you a zoomed in look and by hour 96, this would be for Saturday morning, you're seeing this is your band of snowfall that I was talking about in the earlier part of the video. This is the band that's going to set up, uh, that's going to bring some snowfall all the way from northern uh, North Dakota, northern Minnesota, all the way back down into parts of uh, the mid-Atlantic uh, and parts of the coastal northeast. So, you see... This would be for December 1st. Again, you have to take this with a grain of salt. It is pr pretty far out, but this isn't the only model to show this. The European is agreeing with this, although they do have differences, and we're going to go a little bit more scientific on why they have these differences in just a moment. Uh, but they do have differences, but generally, same idea that you're going to have some snowfall over these same areas. Now, uh, this would be for Sunday morning and then getting into uh, Sunday uh, night, you're seeing rain turn over from uh, snow to New York City, and then it uh, will move out again. It transfers all its energy by Monday morning over to the coast of Delmarva and New Jersey, and then heavier snow returns back from New Jersey, Philadelphia, uh, into eastern Pennsylvania, uh, Long Island, uh, the Hudson Valley, all those areas, uh, and then once it gets far enough off sea, by Monday morning, again, seeing a lot heavier er, snowfall, and it doesn't move out until Monday night, and then it kind of stays offshore, but uh, l not making a lot of impacts once it's offshore. Now, why is this happening? Well, this is your geopotential heights, and this, uh, we're taking a view of the, tro of the nor northern Atlantic, uh, so this uh these reds indicate high pressures area of higher pressure uh so this would be kind of blocking uh and then these are areas of lower pressure in those blues uh so when you see a blue that's usually a storm system so and uh, the reds usually a high pressure so as you can as we continue you see this is your storm system right over here and then it's going to move out it's going to there's this blocking up here uh, right around here, so it's going to be blocking, and then if this blocking can kind of get out of the way fast enough, or uh, just wait, uh, just at the right moment, could be seeing some s snowfall, uh, just like the GFS is depicting over these areas, and the GFS uh, is having about a foot of snow over the coastal northeast, do I think that's going to happen? Absolutely not, but if this is sh if it's c staying like this for a couple more model runs, uh, a couple more days, maybe I'll start believing it, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Now, here's your precipitation uh, before we get to your snowfall, which we'll show you in just a minute. Here, you see generally in those blues, half an inch to two inches, and then in the purples, two to about six inches. So, a good swath here of about half an inch, and then also once you get back to the west, about half an inch to two inches, and some areas in California are seeing about two to six inches of rainfall, and then in the Sierra Nevada, heavier amounts of precipitation, but this is mainly going to be in the form of snowfall. Now, here's your uh, snowfall from this system. So this is the system that already would have dumped a good half a foot of snowfall, so you kind of have to add this on. So here... 
as it comes in it's coming out of the north here by friday morning saturday morning and then this would be your additional snowfall so some areas seeing two feet of snowfall over the northern part of uh wisconsin north east uh parts of minnesota and northern the up of michigan uh so how likely is this to happen uh i would say for these areas i have higher confidence that you'll at least get a foot out of the system but for the coastal northeast which i'll show you right here uh i have less confidence so this would be your full snowfall totals uh, through, uh, well, actually, if we go this back, so this would be your full snowfall totals through uh, this entire system pretty much until Wednesday morning. So in these pinks, that's about half a foot to 12 inches of snowfall. That's what I was talking about, almost a foot of snowfall uh, over the coastal northeast. Uh, so that's probably not going to happen. Uh, maybe three inches of snowfall max for these areas as far uh, f for this far out. Uh, I don't have high uh, confidence in half a foot of snowfall over these areas. Uh, it's very unlikely for this time of the year to be seeing that for these areas. Now, here's the European model, and we're going to be looking at the same storm. So, here it is crashing into the west coast by uh, Wednesday morning. Now, by Thursday morning, it's over parts of it transferred its energy. It's still uh, right around in here. And it's going to be moving up. And then, again, once it gets here, it's going to kind of transfer back here. So a very confusing storm system, to say the least. But uh, eventually, the low pressure will end up over here. And then it starts doing some real damage. So as we continue, see how that storm system uh, kind of organizes itself by Saturday morning. Uh, this would be the 30th of November. Uh, and then uh, this would be the last day of November. And then uh, into the first day of December coming in Sunday morning uh, and then Sunday uh, Sunday night uh, coming in right here so uh, you see it's the snowfall getting to parts of the coastal northeast generally around uh, Sunday morning but it's gonna quickly be uh, turned over to rainfall for most of these areas except for Boston Boston uh, has a little bit more snowfall than most of these areas for the European model at least uh, but still, the European turns this more into a coastal, uh, into an interior northeast snowstorm. Uh, so what we've been seeing lately with these uh, type of systems. So if this does happen, uh, probably the more likely approach to happen, the GFS, even though it has been showing the same thing for about six model runs or so, uh, is just it. This is it's pretty uh, out out there. It's the idea of this happening is pretty out there uh, from what the GFS is showing now. Here's the GF, uh, the geo potential heights. Uh, so these are uh, pretty high in the atmosphere. Uh, your your the middle part of the atmosphere. And since everything happens in the atmosphere, you have to look at this to generally get an idea of where your low and high pressures are. So in these browns uh, and these whites and reds, that's generally higher pressure. Uh, and then once you get into these greens and especially, uh, yeah, the greens and the blues and the purples, that's your areas of low pressure. So these are your storm systems. So as you continue this, you see your storm pressure, your storm system goes into parts of the northern U.S. Uh, by sa Sunday morning, and then it transfers over to Monday uh, into Monday o over to the coastal northeast, and that's where you see your system kind of boom for the interior northeast. But since it is so close, this is where your system is pretty much where that blue circle is. That's your system pretty much. Uh, since it is so close to the coast, probably not going to see anything for the coastal northeast. Uh, more an interior northeast storm system. So for those who don't like the snow in the, inter uh, in the coastal northeast or those who do like the snow in the interior northeast, you're rooting for the European model uh, to kind of uh, be correct here. But the GFS model, if that does come correct, that'll pose an absolute nightmare over the northern I-95 corridor. Now, here's your snowfall from the European model. And if we kind of show you, so this is what the European model is forecasting for this snow event for parts of uh, the Midwest, your Thanksgiving snowstorm. And then once the system comes in, an additional six or so inches. And then over the interior northeast, another six inches. Uh, Boston, two inches. Uh, into Connecticut, around three inches. And then into upstate New York, about 12 inches of snowfall. Uh, but generally, the main metros aren't actually going to be seeing as much snowfall as with the GFS, uh, let's say, would show was at six inches or so so uh gfs is very outgoing uh a very uh 
out uh, out of the box solution for this system. Now, I want to show you total precipitation here from the European model and generally around an inch to two inches. Not a lot of discrepancy with the uh, rainfall at least. Now, here's the chances of seeing an accumulating snowfall over one inch. So if you're in those grays to about purples, that's about 0% chance to a 30% chance. Uh, and this is from the European ensemble models. So a collection of about 50 models and how, uh, well, basically the percentage of models showing, uh, uh, over an inch of snowfall or over uh, insert amount of snowfall here uh, and that would be your percent chance so 30 to about 60 percent in those blues and then 60 to about uh, 75 in those yellows 75 to about 85 in those oranges and then 85 to about a hundred percent chance in those uh, darker reds and those reds so uh, over parts of the northern U.S. and the western U.S., pretty much 100% chance that you see snowfall uh, in the next, uh, by uh, Wednesday uh, morning, uh, December 4th, uh, this, this will be the time frame. And then uh, for the northeast, generally around a 70 to 75% chance, uh, but then closer to the coastal northeast and the mid-Atlantic, closer to 45% chance. So still uncertain with the models. Now, uh, if we if we go here to uh, the chances that you see over three inches still a chance here but of much less chance much lesser chance right around 25 to 30 percent chance along the immediate coast and then interior you're seeing about 30 to about 60 percent i would say and then far interior you're seeing about 65 to 85 percent chance of of seeing over three inches of snowfall now here's the chance of seeing over six inches of snowfall again the chance is still there for the coastal northeast but it's very slim less than five percent chance and then for the interior northeast uh, around 30 to 50 percent chance and of course the northern plains are uh, still seeing around 90 to 100 percent chance of seeing over six inches in the next about five or so days. Now, here's the chances of seeing over 12 inches in the next uh, in the next 192 hours or by Wednesday morning. Still, the chance is still there for the coastal northeast, but uh, definitely very, very low, around 2% probably. Uh, but once you get further interior, still only about 15% chance. Uh, some areas seeing around 30% chance. And then still over northern Wisconsin, UP of Michigan, Minnesota, still seeing around uh, 75 to 90% uh, chance of seeing over 12 inches and then here's your threat of seeing over 24 inches of snowfall or two feet of snowfall uh, and that would be only for the higher elevations uh even having a shot at that a very low shot at uh if anything anyways guys i hope you did enjoy that video i will be posting another video tomorrow i uh, hope to post another video of course uh if anything does happen i'll try to keep you guys updated Anyways, that was Eli the Weather Guy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.